Hi guys, happy Saturday. Hope you're all having a nice weekend. Today we're going to talk about two of the murders at the Family Secrets trial. This was the shotgun killings of Billy Dauber and his wife Charlotte. Uh, allegedly he was uh, cooperating with the FBI. And they were uh, chased down after they left court one day. And uh, killed in their car in Moni, Illinois. Another victim of the Chicago outfit, one of the 18 murders discussed at the Family Secrets trial, was Billy Dalber. He was an alleged hitman for the outfit who killed over 30 people. He was an associate uh, affiliated with the Chicago Heights crew and an important part of the Chop Shop Wars. He was also an uh, FBI informant. He was cooperating against the Chicago outfit. And this is one guy that uh, basically got what he deserved. Here's another victim of the 18 murders at the Family Secrets trial, Charlotte Dauber, wife of Billy Dauber. Frank Calabrese used to refer to these two as Bonnie and Clyde. Allegedly, she participated in some of her husband's uh, crimes. She, also, she was also known as a, a loudmouth, a fighter, and somebody that uh, defended her husband, even though he was a known criminal. Back in 1980, Billy Dauber had a drug case pending. He took his wife to court with him that day in Will County. Little did they know, a mob hip team was waiting outside for them. When the Daubers exited the court building and got in their car, a high-pursuit chase was on with two cars with the outfit guys chasing them, eventually pinning them and shotgun blasting both the Daubers. Now, this was Billy Dauber's car. This was the car that the outfit crew, the hit team, was in high pursuit and chase of. To avoid some of the shotgun blasts, Billy Dauber swerved and ended up smashing his car into a tree. But I think they were both dead prior to the car crashing. This was uh, a photo that they showed in the Family Secrets trial on the uh, flat screen monitors. There's Frank Galbraith, made member of the Chicago Outfit, and one of the leaders of the Chinatown crew. Prosecution uh, talked a lot about all the preparation and planning that went on to kill uh, the Doppers. They uh, showed a uh, hyped-up race car that was used as one of the work cars, and Frank Calabrese, along with Butch Petroselli, uh, also used the shotgun to uh, blast the uh, Doppers in Moni, Illinois. Now here's Ronnie Jarrett, an associate of the Chinatown crew and good friends with the Calabrese brothers. According to the prosecution, he was part of the hit team that killed the Dabbers. Uh, Ronnie Jarrett was eventually killed in front of his house in Bridgeport because he didn't get along with the Chinatown crew boss at the time, Johnny Apes. We'll talk more about him and how he was killed in a later video. Here's another main member of the Chicago Outfit, also a part of the uh, infamous uh, Wild Bunch crew. He was talked about a lot at the Family Secrets trial, and according to the prosecution, he was one of the guys that was part of the hit team that killed the uh, Dobbers. They used two cars, and uh, Butchie uh, pulled out a shotgun and blasted both of the Dobbers to death. They also talk about how Frank Calabrese hated this man. Now, during the Family Secrets trial, the prosecution talked about how sometimes the crews would work together on hits in various jobs. Here's a main member of the Chicago outfit and a um, part of the uh, infamous uh, Wild Bunch crew, Gerald Scarpelli. According to the prosecution's case and Nick Calabrese's testimony, he was one of the men uh, that was part of the hit team that killed Billy Dauber and his wife Charlotte. Here's Marcus Funk, one of the prosecutors in the Family Secrets trial. Uh, grew up in Germany, graduated from Northwestern Law School, got his PhD from the University of Oxford, and he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Frank Calabrese on the stand. At one point, Frank Calabrese mouthed the words, you are an effing dead man. The judge abruptly stopped the court proceedings and reprimanded Frank Calabrese. 